party stick stay. Uh, 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 uh. Hi, I'm Paul. Sight now you all know it's your boy Fly Chance. Oh my God. What's good YouTube? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy Fly Chance, and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to meet the official Donovan Mitchell build in 2K21. You know, right now he's going crazy in the first round of the playoffs, man. Him and Jamal Murray, they're going back and forth, and it's really a great sight to see. Both these dudes have dropped 50 multiple times in the same series. That hasn't been done since Allen Iverson, man. That's all I gotta say. Me personally, I want the Jazz to win. I'm a big Donovan Mitchell guy. I feel like he's a pretty chill dude on and off the court. So for that reason, I want the Jazz to win. But let's go ahead and get straight into the build, man. You know, Donovan Mitchell is listed as a shooting guard. I will admit that he is an undersized two guard in today's NBA. I will let you guys know that if you use the exact same attributes that I do in this video, but you make Donovan Mitchell a point guard, you will get one more defensive badge than you do if you make him a shooting guard. If y'all put some stock into the, the shades of screen that pops up, you know, when it says you have built whatever shades of the three players. If y'all put stock into that, then you can't make him a point guard because Donovan Mitchell will not pop up if you make this, same, this build the same way that I do. You know, this is a Donovan Mitchell build. He's listed as a shooting guard. For, so for that reason, I'm making him a shooting guard. He is right handed and his number is 45. So let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Now. For the pie chart, you know, Donovan Mitchell is an incredible three level score. That's one of the things that makes him so special. If you watch in this series with the Nuggets, his ability to score at all three levels, you know, in the paint, mid range, and three points, is something special. You know, it's very nice to watch. And, you know, coming into the draft straight out of Louisville, he was looked at as a great defender. That's one of the reasons why his potential was so high, because he had potential to be a great two way player in today's NBA. And for those reasons, I'm going to make him a shooting and defending pie chart. Now, since you have shooting in your pie chart, you know, your physicals are automatically going to drop. You know, if you make a sharpshooter in 2K, your physicals are going to be bad. So for that reason, I feel like you have to go with the, the chart that prioritizes speed and acceleration to make up for the, the disadvantage that you're already at by having shooting in your build. So for that reason, I'm going with the speed pie chart, which is the first one. Now, set your potential. What you're going to do is max out your close shot, max out your driving layup. You're going to want to max out your driving dunk. And you're going to want to upgrade your standing dunk until you have four finishing badges. So now I'm at four. Now for the shooting, you're going to want to max your mid range, max your three point shot, max out your free throw, and upgrade your post fade until you have 18 shooting badges. So now I'm at 18. Now for playmaking, you're going to want to max your pass accuracy. You're going to want to max your ball handling. And you're going to want to upgrade your post moves until you have 11 playmaking badges. Now you have 141 attribute upgrades remaining. So let's move on to the defense. Perimeter defense, you're going to want to max that. Lateral quickness, you're going to want to max that. Steal, max that. Defensive rebound, you're gonna want to max that. So for the remaining six, you can really put it anywhere you want. It doesn't get you any more badge upgrades anywhere. So in case y'all want to see for proof, you know I put six on defending and playmaking, nothing happened. Put six on shooting, nothing happened. And now I'm gonna put six on finishing, nothing happens. So for this remaining six, you can put it anywhere you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on standing dunk. Now for body shape, Donovan Mitchell is a strong dude, you know, swole body. So for that reason, I'm going with defined. This is all personal preference. It's all up to you. Now for height, Donovan Mitchell without shoes is listed as 6'1". With shoes, he's listed at 6'3". And if y'all notice, the only real benefit of me going 6'1 instead of 6'3 is plus 3 on the speed and plus 3 on acceleration. Now, at 6'3", you're already an undersized guard because a lot of people this year, they're making 6'6 and 6'7 big guards with max wingspan and lockdown takeover. So, I feel like if you were 6'1", even with max wingspan, you're still at a disadvantage. But, as you can see, your ball handling does go up to an 80 and if you max wingspan, it'll only go down to a 79. 
but at 6-3 your ball handle is still a 77 so if you have playmaking or slashing takeover you get the plus 10 so you'll be able to momentum you know plus if you're playing with dudes who have hall of fame floor general you'll be straight but i feel like 6-1 is just too small for a guard this year so for that reason i'm going with six foot three now for the weight you see our speed is 88 acceleration is 87 if I was any other build, you know, playmaking, defending, or finishing, my speed would already be like a 94 and so my acceleration. But, you know, since we have sharpshooting in our build, look at our speed and acceleration. We're already at a disadvantage, so I feel like you absolutely have to go low as weight. So now you have a 91 speed and 90 acceleration and strength, man. We ain't even worried about that. You're going to be weak regardless if we're being real. You're six foot three. So for the weight, I'm going lowest weight, which is 170 pounds. Now for the wingspan, I would max my wingspan if I was you. Because like I said, a lot of people this year are making 6'6 six, six, and 6'7 six, guards with max wingspan. So they're automatically going to be bigger than you. Your playmaking isn't anything special. So I feel like you have to max your wingspan in order to keep up with them. Your mid-range shot goes down to a 79, your three-point goes down to a 76. Now, if you're one of those people who uses boost and you plan on hit 99 overall, then you're looking at a, you know, a mid-80s mid-range and three-point. So you're straight. But if you're one of those avid players, you know, you, you don't buy boost, you don't plan on hitting 99, the lowest wingspan that I would go is 81.3 on this build. I would go max wingspan because as you see you get the plus two to perimeter defense and lateral quickness plus three to your steal plus three to your defensive rebounding you're already a small guard so just go ahead and max the wingspan bro. now for takeover this is all personal preference you know lockdown takeover you're going to be able to guard anybody in the game once you get it and i think that lockdown takeover is probably the easiest takeover to get because you can literally get it somehow by making layups on offense bro i don't know how 2k came up with that but you can get lockdown takeover purely from offense. Slash and takeover, you don't get contact dunks with this build. But you will probably get some nice layups. And plus with slash and takeover, you get the plus 10 to your ball handling. So you'll be able to momentum dribble with this build. Now, for playmaker takeover, you know, you already know it comes with playmaker to playmaking takeover. You know, you get the, the dimes. And you get a boost to your offense. You know, your shooting, your finishing, all that gets a boost. Plus your ball handling gets plus 10. So you'll be able to momentum dribble. But... Like I said earlier in the video, this is a Donovan Mitchell build. I feel like when he's in that mode, his best skill is his shot creating at all three levels. It doesn't matter if it's shooting threes, pulling up in the mid-range, shooting floaters, or dunking, or shooting some layups, man. Shot creating is Donovan Mitchell's thing. So for that reason, I'm going with shot creating takeover. Now, as you can see, it says you have built a perimeter lockdown. Shades of Donovan Mitchell, Drew Holiday, and Gail Goodrich. That's some good comparisons, man. I must say, you know, Shades of Donovan Mitchell. I must be doing something right if he was the first one to pop up. But let's go ahead and move on. So now, set your overall for testing. You already know we're going to go 99 overall. Now for the badges. You have four finishing badges and you do not get contact dunks. So... You don't really need to put contact finisher on. You know, contact finisher does help with some dunks and a little bit of traffic and some contested lips. So if you gonna put it on, just leave it on bronze. Now, fancy footwork, we all know that badge was pretty OP last year. So I'm gonna at least put it on silver and I'll probably put silver slivery slithery finisher on bronze. But if I wanna take contact finisher off, I probably go with gold fancy footwork and gold slithery finisher. So that, that is what my finishing badge layout will look like. So now, you have 18 shooting badges with Hall of Fame badges. So I will go Hall of Fame Range Extender, Hall of Fame Hot Zone Hunter. This is when the real game comes out, not in the demo. Because, you know, you don't have Hot Zones in the demo. So there's really no point of putting it on for the demo. But this for the real game. Go, I mean, uh, Hall of Fame Range Extender, Hall of Fame Hot Zone Hunter, Hall of Fame Green Machine. I go Hall of Fame Dead Eye, shoot in anybody's face whenever you want. And this is a Don Mitchell build, so I'll put on diff silver difficult shots with the remaining two badge upgrades that you get. If you're going to end up being a spot up player, I'll probably just put on silver catch and shoot. But like I said, this is a Donovan Mitchell build, so I'm going with silver difficult shots. Now, 
you get 11 playmaking badges and you don't get any of the playmaking ones like dimer or floor general so i'll probably put on gold quick first step gold space creator i'll put on bronze unpluckable i'll probably go either gold handles for days and bronze tight handles or silver handles for days and silver tight handles and if you're not a really big space creator guy i guess you can take it all the way off and you can do something like this but like i said this is a donovan mitchell build so this is more or less what my playmaking badge layout will look like oh i have one remaining uh, i probably put it on hands for days so or not nah, actually bailout you know bailout is one of the most essential badges in the game so this is probably what my badge layout will look like and if y'all wondering why my handles for days is only on silver your playmaker on, on this build is nothing special so you're really not going to be ice one up like that so that's why i feel like you only need handles for days on silver but that's just me this is all personal preference now last certainly but not least we got the defense and rebounding badges now in order for you to be able to guard anybody in the game don't matter if they ice on you or using screens this is what i would go with hall of fame clamps hall of fame intimidator i go hall of fame pick dodger hopefully 2k tweak pick dodger because we all know last year this badge was terrible it literally did nothing doesn't matter if it was hall of fame or anything this badge literally did not work and I'll, yeah, with Hall of Fame pick Dodger and I'll go Hall of Fame pick Pocket because your steal on this build is like a 93. And then with these remaining two, we can either put them on Chase Down Artist or Tireless Defender. I'd probably put them on Tireless Defender because the block rating on this build isn't really that good. I know Chase Down Artist gives you a boost of speed when somebody blows past you and you're both running to the paint. But I feel like Silver Tireless Defender is the better option. Your stamina goes down left when you're guarding people. So if you're guarding an ISO player, your stamina won't blink as much you know what i'm saying so this is what my defense and rebounding badge layout will look like now i'm not going to show you guys clips of me playing because i know it gets really boring seeing me playing against the computer so this pretty much wraps up my video remember like comment subscribe if you're new to the channel let me know down in the comments if y'all like y'all this build i want to hear all y'all feedback but all right y'all man i'm out stay fly